Hello everyone, welcome back to Vault Hunters. Today we have an exciting day because we have 21 crates to open. There is all kinds of stuff in here. I've kind of taken a little bit of a sneak peek. I mean, I've seen all kinds of stuff from black chromatic steel to jewels to a bunch of regular stuff. There's all kinds of amazing stuff in these. But first, before we do any of this, we have a championship vault to run. So I didn't get a chance to preface this this championship. It is the end of the month, and we are doing our monthly championship. So yeah, obviously I was the first champion. We had CDBG in there, Hellfire was in there, and now it's time for someone else. So this time we are going to be doing ores. So the person who can gather the most ores, vault ores, is going to be the winner. And we're going to use the stat screen to uh, get uh, the number when everything is done. So let's hop in there. Hi. All righty. So um, hopefully everyone enjoyed the uh, benevolent rule of the last month, um, but it's uh. my time to sign off as leader. Um, some of you have made the short list for the month of pranks, but there we go. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go in and I'll try and put my armor on. Good luck. What are we doing in the vault? 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 Okay, uh, in the vault, gather the ores. Go. All right, leave the group. Or time. I have completely forgotten uh, my things. That's fine. We're, we're supposed to get ores, right? The, yeah, the ores. Okay, yeah, ours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, did well, good thing I have a fortune pickaxe now. Someone invites Zenji. Someone invites Zenji. Holy crap. Later. Sabotage. Wait. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what did that? Wow. Oh Sabotagers. Wow. wow. Well, I was just telling the peeps what the rules were. Then I see a, a thing. I still don't know what the rules are. <laughs> yeah. How do I mine ores when I have fortune, not silk touch? I told hell to say one thing. Or is it just ores mined? <laughs> <laughs> What if nobody finds any ores? Ooh, crystal cave! Let's go! <laughs> Wait, is there actually there's a crystal yes. cave? Yes, this is amazing. Let's, let's, let's go. go! All right, I'll be on mob killing duty. I'll just activate everything. <laughs> All right, let's go. Bring ah. it on, mobs. Ah, there's so many spiders. Oh yeah! Boom! I like slaying. Ouch! Oh wait, I should probably put on my helmet and my chest plate. Oh my goodness! Oh, that would help. Oh, but just play, oh, but just play. <laughs> Corey. Oh, wait, I, I know Roblox. Come here, Corey. <laughs> I actually need that. Do only yeah, unique gems sure. counter? Is it all vault ores? Uh, oh. what? All Corey. of the ores. Is it all the ores or just the unique ones that count? Ooh, look at this. Uh, all of them. All the ones that give you XP, <laughs> which I guess is all of them. Does that even count, I wonder? I have no idea, honestly. Cause you already mined them. Do we both get points then? I, I'm not really sure. We just find a way to break the system. <laughs> I'm not really sure how that yeah, works, but uh, you know I'm okay with it. Um, I don't oh, think so. We went back to the portal. <laughs> oh, is this the portal? Oh, okay. I'll go ahead yeah. and set a waypoint then. <laughs> Since I'm uh, here. All right, I'm gonna go east. Yeah, it's this. This. I'm just gonna stick with you. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure we've been to that obelisk already. It looks familiar. Yeah. It's gonna be a sixer. Uh, okay. So let me give us some breathing room here a little bit. Oh, this is an ore PI room. Over Ooh, here. Okay. Here. Nice, nice, nice. I'll be on mob duty here. Oh, I don't have depth strider. Black hole. I'll break some of these. Yeah, you grab the ores. I'm gonna go see what else I can find. How did they? So someone must have just ran by and activated that, and then never finished. That's it? my guess. They're trying to prevent us from completing oh, it. Someone oh. started the last one. Oh goodness. Okay. Uh. Well, I guess we just continue to. Can we still do this one? Probably not. I don't know. Dang. Will it let you click it? No. Uh. Well, that ruins that plan. Yeah, they're doing that on purpose. Let's keep on going east. Let's see if we can find another ore. My room. Area. What? Not good. I don't. I don't believe uh -oh. it. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Hello. 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 How's it's it going? With all the good stuff. Hello. In it. No. There's nothing good <laughs> in here. I've found like nothing. Uh, we we bid us to find an ore POI room. I found a few things. But we're Hello. gonna keep continue. Which way are you heading? You going? I'm going, going south. south. I've already explored north from here. 
Okay. Let's go well, kill those guardians. What do you let's say? Go kill those guardians. They're, see what CWG has done? He activated it and then ran uh, away. So the vault would yeah, be a little completed. baby. Uh, a little baby. My we, assumption is there's a um, obelisk in a mine room. Oh, damn. Yeah, you, you can't do that, yeah. unfortunately. Oh, they're oh, killing they're them. They're doing them. They're doing yeah, them. They're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. That means they've cleared the mine room. Oh, they found a mine room? Oh. Yeah. Another Goodness. Room. I'm pretty sure it was C Dubs found the mine room. Yeah, because he said the thing. There it was. Yeah. Ow, that's loud. Yeah, that's really loud. Oh. Nice. Yay. That's good. <laughs> oh, <it's>, nope. <laughs> oh. I Let's found go. it. Let's go. Let's go. Noise. Oh, wait. Uh, someone picked up I my. I can't crate. see anything. Crate. 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 I, I got another boss crate. crate. Uh, a couple oh, people oh, have leveled up. Okay, who? I leveled yeah. up. Level 13. Who picked up my I boss crate? Who's missing a boss crate? Level me. Wow. Whisper it. Reveal yourselves. All right. All right, here we go. I didn't save it. Why didn't it? <laughs> Guys, I'm so bugged right now. <laughs> what is okay. happening? How is Everett breaking your results? I have 3,000. No, I have three thousand seven hundred and ten. In just wars? Yeah. Second oh, place. What? I'll share. Oh, the I'm never the bride. What? Oh, fuzzy. Congrats, seven. Speech. 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 Oh, Take your helmet speech. off. Well, apparently I've won, even through technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> But um, everyone did a wonderful job, amazing teamwork on, on finding rooms and mining ores. And uh, yeah, rule rule will come soon. I'm going to have to be doing a big think about this. So uh, yeah, uh, in the meanwhile, uh, everyone just uh, chill and have fun. So that is the one that gave us this 21st boss crate that we did complete the vault successfully. And so, uh, yeah, I I'm ready to open these. I'm going to leave my pouches on so we can kind of look here and see a little bit about what we have. Um, I'm going to know the pain night won't matter. Uh, you know, things like sweet kiwis we might get in there and bitter lemons. So we won't be able to like accurately measure those. And over here, I just have some vault stone. So I'll pop that out for right now. And now we can open these up. Oh, this is exciting. Let's do it. Oh, wow. 21 crates. That is insane. I'm going to drop off some of the gear into this shulker right here just to help make myself a little bit more room in my inventory because... Oh, a trinket. I saw a trinket. All right, so let's take a look at some of this amazing stuff we got. Now, in this box here was the first one I dumped a lot of stuff into. We got a trinket. We got a whole bunch of gear. The only thing that was in this one was these three pieces of gear right here. Uh, my feather trinket and some crystals. So most of this stuff is all brand new. Uh, we got some black opal, vault gold, a bunch of chromatic iron. And then over in this one is even more stuff. More gear, over 64 refined, car oh, 74 refined carbon, uh, 64 vault alley, 32 chromatic steel. That's amazing. A bunch of jewels. I'll have to kind of go through the jewels later uh, and see what's good and what's not. A good amount of Beniatite, Laramar, two Echo Gems, which is really good. Uh, three Fundamental Foci, which is good. And look at all of this Vault Alloy, goodness. So, yeah, amazing. That's before I've checked my pouches. It's my pouches. We got 22 Skill Essence, which is good. Four Motes of Clarity. Uh, we probably got some Vault Stake in there, too. Let's take a look at our other pouch. 10 mystery boxes, an absolute load of vault bronze. I mean, look at that. A load of vault bronze, 119 vault silver, 256 chromatic iron, 55 knowledge essence. Wow. 87 vault meat. I mean, that's just insane. That is so much stuff. Now, obviously, I was saving a lot of it up. You know, I, I didn't want to necessarily open these... Uh, uh, crates as I got them because I've been running all kinds of vaults you know, here and there just left and right uh, As people were wanting to do stuff. I would hop in with them. We'd go run some more vaults So it's been absolutely wonderful uh, These two chip jewels are garbage. We're gonna smelt those down. I'm not gonna keep those two That's way too big of a size uh, To be able to do anything with a 72 size just for shoveling. Yeah, no 
And so we'll get the other one down there too. And then we'll throw this stuff in here. So we have more things to craft jewels with down the road. So now for the fun part, let's open up 10 mystery boxes. Let's see what we get. Ooh, I see Echo and a Pog already. I still got five left. Ooh, Vault Platinum. That's a good one. More emeralds, diamonds, Laramar, and diamonds. Okay. So overall, we've gotten a total of three Echo Gems out of this whole ordeal. And a Pog, of course. And Vault Platinum is always a good thing to have hanging around. So you can convert it into uh, Vault Silver and Gold for all of your needs. Let's open up our three Relic Fragments. I think I have that one. I think I have that one. And I don't know if I have that one. Checking our Relic Chest. Oh no, we don't have that. Now, that one's the fifth Twitch Emote. Ooh, okay. We do have the Fire Element and then we do have that uh, Cater one as well. We have the Twitch set, finally. Okay, let's take all five of these. We need to craft ourselves up into the Relic Pedestal, which is going to require two extraordinary Beniatite. So, uh, this is expensive. But luckily, we got a bunch of Beniatite um, this last round through all of those mystery boxes. So, awesome. Two extraordinary. Oh, that's just for one of them. Yeah, okay, so we should be good. Let's craft this up. And there we go. We have our next Relic Pedestal. Let's run downstairs and put it where it belongs. So we'll go right beside the cupcake relic. We are most the way done with relics. This is awesome. Hit the Twitch one, and then we will put all of the pieces in and assemble. We have the Twitch relic. Very cool. Another relic, so that makes it, let's see, one, two, three extra minutes in the vault. That is so exciting. And last but not least, of course, is the trinket. What do we get here? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, Windar's Hourglass. Adds 2 minutes and 30 seconds to the vault timer. It's only a 12 use. But if we find a really cool vault, we can add... Two, wow, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, that's a good one. I really like that. We'll put that over into here. Um, the rest of the stuff I'm just going to kind of throw into storage for right now. We're not necessarily going to go through the gear because that can take forever. We got to roll it. We have some pretty good gear here. We have some level 43 rare plus. Actually, we're going to roll that one because that one looks exciting. Level 43 rare plus chest plate, which can be, has the potential to be really good, something I don't have. Okay, it's the deer chest plate. Ah, it's only a five armor. Uh, yeah, that's not that great. It's got good durability, but I'll probably want to re-roll the implicits on that one because we should be getting much, much higher armor at this one. And that's what the fundamental focus will do. It'll reforge our implicits. 10 armor! Oh, I'm glad I did that. Okay. So we get a 10 armor, 5% increased damage and healing efficiency with an empty suffix. So we can add a new random modifier. Let's see what it gave us. 4% item quantity. That's a pretty good chest plate. It is only 10 armor, and I think my current one is 7, 10, 11, 11. So I guess I'm really not losing much. I am losing the plus 2 health, um, which is a big one for me. I really like that extra health. And the uh, mana regen's nice. So we might mess around with focuses on that one and uh, see if we can get it up to a little bit better, I guess you would say. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but we're going to we're gonna roll some stuff around a little bit later. I'll kind of do that off camera because sometimes it just takes forever because you're just... Hitting it, going back and forth, back and forth, adding more vault plating, adding more vault bronze and all that. So it can take a long time. So one other thing we did is we did complete our vault with that last run. So we do have a bounty crate to claim. Just what we needed. I should have I should have put this down before. I forgot it was actually in there until I went over to look at it. So we'll open that up and grab the stuff out. Nothing super exciting, but still a lot of chromatic iron, some vault gold, which is always good. More vault alloy and bronze. And we are up to 23 bitter lemons and 107 sweet kiwis. So quite a bit of stuff there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull out all the rest of the bronze and the rest of the stuff out of my pouch here and uh, get this all into the system. So let's head on over to MechCreate Island here. One of the things we need to make here pretty soon is actually a stop-off point where we can park a train here. Um, I don't want to get in the way of anyone else when they drive their trains through, of course, to get clear over there and then clear over to Evis Base. We have a huge, huge train track already. Uh, CWG has been hard at work at concreting the base of everything here, which I think looks really good. These lights also help out. That's a tough lamp. So that really helps out as well. Um, everything's been running pretty well here for the most part. Um, we have some extra stuff that's going to despawn here, like the sugarcane there. 
But that's going to happen when we don't have all the ingredients and stuff we need all the time. Which this requires the uh, crushed netherrack to make those blaze cake things. Um, so we need to find a way to turn some of this stuff off. Um, and we're going to be coming up with a good plan for that because we need that. This is doing this again. Okay, this... Oh, it's actually broken in this one. Oh, interesting. So we've been having a big problem with the gearbox for this breaking. It just randomly breaks, and we can't figure out if it's actually on like a, a chunk border or anything like that. Yeah, it's not on a chunk border, so we don't really know what's going on here. But this gearbox breaks almost every time we come over here. So we're, we're going to have to figure that out. So the main piece I wanted to show you is actually down here. Something I have been working on very hard. Now, one of the big problems that we have here with MechCreate Island and stuff like that is, of course, this pipe spaghetti. This is one of the biggest sources of FPS lag on our server right now. All of these mechanism pipes with different colors of stuff in them and all this other kind of stuff going on, it's a big problem. And so the solution to a lot of this, most of this stuff is needed to make this right here, the fizzle fuel, which is what runs our fission reactor. And one of the ways we can get rid of all of this stuff is to go towards a fusion reactor. And so I have been working very hard at gathering all of the stuff up that I need for it. I have done some trading, some bartering with some people, and uh, all kinds of different things to get a hold of enough echo to be able to make these. And I finally have. I was able to get a hold of six total perfect echo and was able to make all the atomic alloys that I need. I also have all the steel casings, all the polonium pellets, pretty much everything I need to get in here, including the hull rum, which we end up have to mess with, um, to be able to create the fusion reactor, which is going to eliminate all of this stuff. The only thing the fusion reactor will need is these pieces right back here. And really, we don't even need that. I just kind of needed this to make the DT fuel enough to be able to make those hull rooms. But over here, we have our solar neutron activator making the tritium that the fusion reactor needs, and this one's making deuterium. This just goes over into the uh, water, you can kind of see it right there, with some pumps that have uh, filter upgrades on them, which give us heavy water, which we separate out into deuterium and oxygen. And this just uses a second... Second chamber here, thermal evaporation tank. Uh, we have our first one here that we needed for the brine for a lot of different stuff over there. And then we just run the brine over into this one. And this one makes up liquid lithium. And then we just condense and trade it down to lithium. And then, of course, you know, make all the stuff that we need, the tritium. So we have everything we need for the fusion reactor. I think I'm going to get started on that here decently soon because I want to try to get rid of a lot of this stuff in here. Um, there are still pieces that we do need the uh, fission reactor for. Uh, one of which making the plutonium pellets. I have a couple of them over here. And the plutonium pellets are used for a, more than a few different things. We can look at the uses. It's mainly used for the crafting of the SPS, SPS casings, which is a super critical phase shifter, which is what we use to make the antimatter, which then we can use for the uh, antiprotonic nucleosynthesizer to be able to convert items to other things with antimatter. So one of the things I want to do real quick is I want to take my train over to the new section of track that has been built. I don't believe I showed this off in my last episode. Um, I did show it off in my live stream. And uh, so let's get going here. Uh, Fuzzy and Stircat have been very hard at work over on Fuzzy's tunnel here. So we can take our train down through here. Make sure the track's clear. Yeah. And he's they have extended the track way down through here. Uh, one of this actually ends up connecting through Corey's base, and I believe Stircat's base is through here as well. Ooh, looks like we have a little area. Nope, I was wondering if this is a build yet, but not yet. But this continues on over here to Evett's area, and there's something on the track. Nope, okay. Looks like it has been disconnected for right now. We'll go ahead and hop out. But uh, this continues over here into Evett's area, and I don't know what Evett's going to be doing yet for integration of this track to hers that she has here. Um, but her track goes clear around. She's got a turnaround area, and uh, her train is probably sitting, yep, right there. So we now have a huge connection area for the trains from my base from Peeporp's base clear through over to Evett's base. So if we look on the map here, you can see where I'm at right now, which this is Evett's base, and that track goes clear through passing Corey's base, passing Stircat's base, underneath Fuzzy base, to my base, don't forget, sub to Peeporp, and then across Mech Island, through CWG, and over to Peeporp. 
Now, there's going to be a few more people going to be connected on there. Rob is right in here. Chris, his old base is right here. Chris is working on a new mega base somewhere up over here. And I believe we're going to try to extend this track through up through here. Catch anybody else that's up here. I believe Hellfire is right in here. And then I, there's going to be a piece that comes off here that hits Zinji right here. And then over to Flynn's base right here. So we want to have everything kind of interconnected as best we can. And uh, so we're already covering a really good area. So I'm excited to see what this is going to turn out. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you all on the next episode.